So we've all been there. You're busy pumping and pumping away, and nothing happens, nothing comes out, and you figure you're going to have to throw your lotion bottle away. But then you realize there's still plenty of lotion inside. How do you get it out? So there have been a number of YouTube videos about solving this problem. Here's the number one video with 71,000 views. And in this video, she gives four techniques such as cutting the bottle open. Yeah, that will work, but it's messy and a pain in the neck. Or heating the bottle so that the uh, lotion gets thin and then pouring it out. Maybe that will work or maybe it will destroy the lotion. The last technique is to take a piece of uh, hose that you can get from the hardware store and extending the uh, pumping shaft uh, so that you get to the very bottom of the bottle. And there's nothing wrong with what she did in this video, but she didn't really go into enough detail on exactly how to do this and the best way to accomplish this. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. So let's take a look at the problem. Here's a typical uh, pump bottle. And what they do, they play a lot of tricks so that you don't get all the um, lotion out. And I don't think this is very nice. This is uh, not how you would get a green world, you know, by having people waste their lotion so that you have to buy more often. But this is what they do. They typically don't extend the shaft all the way to the bottom. And then they'll have a curved bottom like this. And then this thing will be at a slant here, which does have a purpose. It keeps it from... Uh, you know, making sure that it doesn't get stuck along the the side or the bottom. But as soon as you get some air going in to this thing, into the shaft, it will stop working. So let's look what happens when we try to get the lotion out. The lotion will go down to about here, and then you will not be able to get any more out because the air will start going into this uh, shaft here. So what we want to do is we want to extend that uh, shaft with some hose. And the good thing is that typically these uh, these pump shafts are one-fourth inch outside diameter. And this hose here is standard one-fourth inside diameter. It's very common, standard hose. You can get it at any hardware store, and it's cheap. So we're going to extend the pumping shaft with this hose. So let's take a look here now, and let's just say we extend it in a straightforward manner, straight down. Well, the problem is we're still going to have this problem where as soon as there's a little bit of air coming into this into this uh, shaft, we're not going to get any more uh, pumping. And there's a curve here, typically. Most of the bottles have a curve, so we're still going to leave a considerable amount of lotion. Okay, so let's look at our next example. Suppose we extend the hose even longer. Well, if you extend the hose longer, but you don't do it in a scientific way or in a controlled way, you don't know where the hose is going to wind up. For all you know, it could wind up up in the air and actually give you less lotion. So we have to extend the hose in a controlled way. So this is what the old tip would typically look like. It would be slanted in one direction. When we cut our new hose, we're going to cut it like this so that no matter how it goes, it, it uh, has some area where the uh, lotion could go in. So let's look at now bottle number four, and we're going to see how I extend the hose. You have to extend the hose in a scientific manner, in a controlled manner, so that there's just enough hose, extra hose, when you put the new hose onto the old shaft, so that it goes right into this corner here. And what you want to do is you want to mark the corner where you're going to put the hose in so that you don't forget, because typically these bottles you can't see through. So you want to mark one corner so you know where the hose is, and you want to get that hose just the right length so it goes right into the corner. And then finally, lastly, what we want to do is we want to store the bottle in this position so that the lotion will go right into this corner. And every once in a while you can even tap the bottle so that the lotion goes right into this corner. And you can see that if the hose goes into this corner and you have it kept in this slanted position, you're going to get just about all the lotion out of this bottle. Okay, so here's what this looks like in real life. You can see I have this with the extension here, and it's extended in such a way that it curves a little bit, and it's going to go right into the corner. I'm going to put this in to the corner, and you notice that I that I uh, marked the side where the where the hose is going into, and you see there's even a little tension here. It doesn't 
run it quite go because I'm going to force this cap down and then I'm going to turn it on and that that now that uh, that hose is now stuck right into that corner okay okay so here's a little stand I made to hold the bottle in the correct position I made it with a scroll saw and a wood file you don't have to do this of course there's a million ways to hold the bottle in the correct position but this is what I did here you can see the little hole to hold the bottom of the bottle and here's the indentation to hold the top of the bottle and this is uh, the full view again and here's what it looks like with the bottle on it again you don't have to do this but I found this uh, very convenient so now let's look and see how much lotion is left after we completely emptied the bottle using this method okay so now I'm going to open up this bottle that's now finally empty after my method and we'll see how much is left hopefully I can do this without cutting my hand open on camera so I'm going to use this razor knife and I'm going to cut it open and we'll see how much is left inside the bottle Okay, let's see if I can get a picture of this in the camera. Where's my flashlight? There it is. Oops, not a very good view. You know, I'm not a professional photographer. I can't do this very well. But take my word for it. There's very little left. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see it or not. But there's very little left. It did a hell of a job of getting it all out. There's just a tiny bit stuck to the sides. Okay, so that's my video. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it saves you enough money to buy that new Maserati you've been wanting.